Hello again family and I am happy to be here in Shooters Hill, Bull Bay. This is right by the seaside really, um, close to Harborview. We're looking at a 16 panel and 16 battery system. It's a long time I really wanted to kind of show you that it's all nice for everybody because sometimes I do some fancy system and so on, you know, people say, oh, but the rich people do alone the solar I say no we do we do for everybody because I, I we have custom with even four panels no problem happy to serve this system is 16 panels and 16 batteries so how we got here is a neat little story it, it was built over time a customer he started with eight batteries and 12 panels it, it as they got the budget he increased it to 16 panels and 16 batteries and now he's, he's hit the sweet spot. So it's doing, you know, it's very pleased with it. I'm very pleased to tell you that for this video, we got a, we got a very valuable interview with the homeowner, Mr. Barrows. He, he will kind of, you know, shed some light on how the process and, you know, how it has been so far for him. So stay tuned, my friends. All right, so this is a good place to start. Um, as you can see, we're on like a concrete roof. So as you know, we're not, we're not drilling to people roof. Um, we don't really want to, any chance of causing any leaking or anything like that. So um, you can look, we have our blocks here. And well, there's a little note, we drill into this what you would call what you, this, this is an overhang it's a, it's a cantilever this so we, we're drilling to the cantilever outside so the cantilever now fall outside of the house so at times we will do that right that's to save a cost on the block so we don't have to um charge for as many blocks um but yes as you know this is how we do it um homeowner did add you know chains because he get a lot of breeze in this area, he did say, mention. So it's just an extra precaution. Um, another thing that can be done is the blocks can be tarred down. So you can put some tar under the blocks to, you know, to let them stick on the roof. And we can cement it down too, also. So, but he, he used chains um, to give it that extra strength. Um, in my last video, I kind of mentioned a few, you know, little tips to look out for whenever your, your panels are being installed. The, the viewers found it helpful, so I'm going to continue giving you some tips. So, one, one other thing to watch out for when your panels are being installed is that they should really get out your compass. It's, you know, if you have an iPhone, you have a compass on it and find where south is and make sure your panels are inclined up facing south. The, 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 the sun is in the, the southern part of the sky pretty much all the time. Sometimes it's more up in the sky and sometimes it's, it's more down in the sky but it's always down in the southern part of the, the sky here in Jamaica so you know you want to watch out for that. That way you're going to get the, the, the max, well close to the maximum out of your, your panels. If it's facing anywhere else it would work, but you're not going to get the amount of electricity that you want. Another reason for angling them, if you, if you put them flat, then when water goes on them and the dust is on there, it's just going to create this mud like, like a film. So after a while, if you have the panels them extremely flat, it's going to create like a tint of, of mud or of, of dust or dirt, grime on top of your panels. When you angle them up, it, whenever the rain fall, the rain will help wash it off, <laughs> right? And then if, you, if, if the rain, if the rain go and wash it off, it kind of help you, so you don't have to really clean them as often or even call us to clean them as often. So it keep cleaner and it work more efficient, increase the efficiency. If, if, if your panels are, are flat, they're not facing the sun as much, uh, especially uh, here in Jamaica. Um, so 
I mean, we're slightly in the north, so the sun is in the south. So you're going to lose efficiency. So when you think you have, oh, uh, in this case, this is over five kilowatts of capacity, you know, generating capacity, these panels. 350 watts each panel by 16 panels. But if you don't angle it to the sun, you, you're, going to lose, you're not going to get nowhere near that. you probably get 4,000 or 3,000, you know. You angle it to the sun now, it, it increases the amount of wattage that they will push out because it, it's facing the sun rays um, more like perpendicularly, you know. So, very important. So kind of, kind of look out for that if you, if you whenever you get your um, panels installed, you know, whether by us or anybody else. So now you're going to hear um, the experience that Mr. Burrows, the homeowner, has had um, with uh, uh, essential solar system. All right, family, so we're here. I'm going to give many thanks to the homeowner because he joined me, you know, give me an interview and thing. I have to give thanks for that every time we get one. I guess I, I can, I guess the first question is how, how long yeah, we, since we installed this? Seven months. Yeah, yeah seven months. So, I mean, what has been your experience generally? Well, it goes so far, we have no problem. From installing, we have no problem. Well, I guess we don't have um, too many dark times, we got bright times, so mm. maybe that's why we don't have no problem. But I think it's okay. Okay. So you, so you never, it never, it never cut out. No, I never since cut out. No, no, seven no, months no. straight. Yes. And that's what I say. Wow. Yeah. All right. But if you just said you, the electric grid would have cut out by seven months. Yeah. So that's like with a performance. That's so good. Um. So you just say like, oh, the light bill look these days. Well, from two side of light, I say ten ten each. Um, twenty thousand dollars for about from the two side. Um. About thirteen hundred dollar. One side three hundred dollar, the one day. So I didn't use two bulbs alone, so I made three hundred thousand dollar. Okay, so what on? So it moved from about twenty thousand to one thousand. To about one thousand dollars. Only one thousand five, just. Yeah. And the two sides, yeah. side. so one yes. side here and one side over there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here trying to act like I'm surprised, but not surprised, that's what we really do. <laughs> <laughs> when, when we come to your place, we like to mm -hmm. set up your system that you, you know, really have no more light bill again. That's what we really do, but that's what I expect, and I like to hear it right from the homeowner themselves. So, you no, know, I forgive thanks for that for the technology and thing. Yeah, man. And it, we know it, 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 it worth it. while, you know, it worth it. Yeah, man, so you are saying is, uh, is um, And me can do anything more and do it, we don't have no problem. Mm hmm and I do a lot of things on it too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. I mean, that's it. Holy Papa, you have a system. 16 pounds is a good amount of power. And the right thing, really, when I put on it, and it fell first. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, and you put on the next. 12 by 8. Mm hmm. And then now, I put on 4. Okay. Alright, so he started with 8 batteries and 12 panels. Yes. And then, Ended up to upgrade into 16, 16 batteries 16. and 16 panels. So he yeah. add four more panels and uh, eight more batteries. So it, 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 it's a system where you take time and build. That's why I, was, I keep, I said this more than once that you can start, you get a good inverter, and you start, and you can add panels and batteries as you go. But you kind of want to at least get the, the high, the, you know, the, 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 the correct inverter for your needs. And then you can add your batteries and panels as you go. And go and manage it, you know? Make your savings as you go and use your savings. Invest yeah. in your system as you go. Yeah, because I manage it well, too, you know? I don't make them overdo it, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't make them do overdo nothing at all. Anything yeah. I do, I manage it. Tight. Yes. Yeah. yeah, man, yeah, man. And the voltage, you just watch your voltage. voltage. And so. But my voltage not going away. No, well, that means you yeah, monitor too much then. No, because no, I don't say monitor too much still. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see it past 96 going down. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. When you reach 96, I don't want to see it go 95 down yet. Oh, okay. always 97. 97 mm, when you reach 96. 96, yeah, when you reach. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to pass, go down too, too low. 90 or nothing. Because yeah, I don't want to shut down. I need to kill your battery then. Right, so faster. I monitor the battery. Like the way you are managing it now. <laughs> you know, your battery then probably last you all want 10 years. Of course, you know. Come back here so after so many years yes. <laughs> and see how it go. Mm -hmm. And see how it go. So, I mean, how, how was the how was the installation process? You remember that? I mean, how you know 
if you can say if you were pleased or if you were displeased about anything. I'm pleased, man. Good. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. mm -hmm. How long did it take to install? Well, call it the first time, mm -hmm. two days. Two days? All right. That I was the 12th two one a day. Just call it say two, three quarter days. Okay, okay, okay. So. Yeah, man. So uh, there you have it. Yeah. You, you know it's new technology, mm -hmm. so you know people kind of weary and they're skeptical about it. They feel it might not be real or whatever. What would you say to them, uh, you know, to a person like that? Just right try it. Know. You can't just think say it's not going to work. Try it and see what's good. What's good, huh? I think it will work. As long as you have the right amount of sunshine, you know, good. And you make a full of sun. So, yeah. I guess you're good if, if, if you try it. So there you heard it. You try it. You know. The truth is that yes, there's a risk with trying new things, but the benefits can be can be great when you try new things. I mean if if we never try out a thing called the wheel, you know, we wouldn't be driving around a motor vehicle now. We would still be walking around as human beings. So we have to, every now and then we have to try new things and we have to embrace new things the same way. Alright, so I'd like to thank Mr. Burrows for participating. Trust me, I really appreciate every time somebody agreed to do this. You know, because it's usually me alone and you know, sometimes people want to hear from the horse's mouth, mm -hmm. from the customer themselves, how things really go, you know, with solar. So thank you again, Mr. Yeah, man, you're welcome and appreciate I hope enough it. people have uh, tried and come give you a check and see what's going on. Respect. Nothing but respect. So my family, you know you've seen it. This is a nice solar array type setup. You know, um, this one is different. Um, now we're going to head down into the power room. You know where all the power is distributed, where it's managed. Let's go. All right. So here we are in the power corner. This one is actually in a neat little corner in the living room. Now you can see he has 16 batteries here in this corner. He protected it from you know any kids with this little wooden barrier. Which is very important. You don't really want anybody to touch your You don't want anybody to get shock or anything like that. So it's good to kind of separate it when it's in a space um, you know in an open, open area. Um, here you have your 6 kilowatt inverter and the charge controller. Maybe tucking in the corner. Just doing the work, getting the power, managing the power properly and distributing it in the house. You know, this distributes the power to the panel box and it's run the whole place. And a matter of fact, a fun fact is that the assisting this side, 16 panels and 16 batches, can easily run in my AC. So, you would notice, I like to point this out, that you know there is no corrosion or anything like that with the essential solar maintenance free batteries. No such corrosion. You can you inspect any, anywhere wherever you inspect the batteries, you would find that. There's no corrosion or anything like that. I'm proud to say, I mean uh, Mr. Barris is a, a sound system enthusiast. This man has a proper sound. And the man tell me, say, boy, it played play the sound real nice. He's very pleased with it and everything. And it's the first time I buck up on a, a, a sound system, man, with one of our systems. So I thought I should mention that to you. Because, yes, if you, if you love big sound and so you have to know, say, you have a, your system, the solar will run your sound, no problem. As a matter of fact, I went go out and I and say it will run it better than you know, the, the, the electric company. Again, we have to give thanks for the access to the technology. We're in the 21st century people. You know, let's do this. You know, renewable energy, clean air. It's just, it's just a lot of, lot of problems that's going to disappear once we just implement renewable energy. All right? And stop burning gas and diesel and all these things unnecessarily. Let's reduce it. All right, my family. You've seen it, 16 battery. 16 panels, 6 kilowatt system, gloriously displayed. This is for everybody, no matter where you be. Once you use power, solar is for you.
and we are here for you at Essential Solar. So till next time, take care my friend.